It has been a year since the first batch of sheep were exported. Now, the third batch is ready to set sail to the Middle East. A batch of 57,000 is set to take off for the Middle East on the 1st of September. And now, more emerging farmers are coming on board. Amwashi strongly supports inclusive growth and we are, are playing our part to ensure that the future of live export industry is one that is representative of the South African racial demographic and free of um, monopoly. Therefore, we are increasing the number of uh, uh, emerging farmers that we are currently uh, dealing with. We haven't put a target behind those uh, numbers, but we are looking at getting up to at least 30 to 35 percent of our total loads being supplied to us by BEE and the emerging farmers. This project generated more than 400 million rand during the past year. What is exciting us even most is the fact that the participation of the black farmers is growing by day. We started at less than 10%, we are now at more than 22% participation of black farmers. So to us, it is what we are looking forward to and it's what we are supporting and we are saying working with Almawashi will realize uh, our dream as the province of ensuring that there is value addition. Being part of uh, Almawashi will help us grow uh, very strong quickly because of their assistance. We will, we will continue to grow in other sectors within, within the, uh, the farming industry. Also, we are looking at uh, producing uh, dairy farms. There's high demand in the Middle East also with, with the dairy products. There is also opposition to the live animal export trade. The NSPCA unsuccessfully tried to interdict the shipping of the sheep on the grounds of the conditions the animals enjoy in transit. The NSPCA intends to appeal the court's decision. Yanga Funani, SAPC News in East London.